Marcello and Mate, well done. Very special day for you. Mate, you've uh, completed your career Grand Slam with this win. And Cello, your second title in Roland Garros. Just talk through uh, the day for us, please. Well, the, the day was, you know, started slow. It was a little bit stressful. Waiting for the match. It was a big match. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, don't know what to say. Uh, for me, it feels really, really special. I, uh, like I said there, I lost, I lost two finals already here, and uh, I was in the third today. And yeah, I uh, it's something that I missed the title here, and I really wanted to, wanted to win it. And yeah, it was not easy to play. It was a lot of emotions and everything. So I'm, I'm super happy to to have that achievement now in my, in my career. And uh, yeah, I'm still not really aware what happened. So. Let me ch let Cello talk a little bit. <laughs> well, no, um, I wish I, I would be the one completing my uh, career slam, but <laughs> that's not the case. But um, no, the day uh, the day started, of course. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, big big match. You get a little bit nervous, uh, stressful, uh, long wait also because you uh, we we've been. Uh, uh, waking up pretty early uh, the last few days because we were playing uh, around 12 or 2 p.m. So I was waking early. So today was not the exception, you know, like I was awake since 8 in the morning. So till 5 p.m. it was kind of like a long wait. So kind of like anxious, you know, but uh, I think we we did it well. We uh, we prepared well for uh, for today final. Uh, we had a, a great warm up, and uh, I felt uh, great on court since the morning. So uh, I think that was that was that was key, you know, to feel to feel the ball good today. Always, uh, it's important to start a day like that. And of course, once you go on court and uh, you start competing, and that's what we did great today. We compete uh, together every time. We will. We were down, down a break in the second set. Uh, we broke back, and and then everything uh, felt that it was it was flowing, you know. Congratulations, gentlemen! You've only been playing together for a short amount of time, and you've already achieved so much success today. Could you tell me about what is the special ingredient to your partnership? Why it works so well on the court? Well, I think uh, Mate himself is one of the best Dovers players that we had in um, in in our Dovers. You know, I mean, he won what four slams now, four slams now, a uh, few times the Masters. Uh, at the end of the year, uh, many Master titles too. So, uh, I think uh, the key is that we both are uh, big fighters. Once we go on court, I think we we both like to compete hard, and and that's what we show uh, along the last two weeks, you know. And then of course, uh, since the beginning of the year, we've been we've been uh, working hard. Also, we both uh, like to work really hard, and uh, when something is not going our way, we we try to find solutions. And I think that's 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 important in a in a partnership, you know, like. And when when things don't go the way you want, uh, we always stay together and and try uh, with our team, with our coaches to to find the way, you know, to 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 make it work. Mata, you join the Bryan brothers, the Woodies, and Daniel Nesta as the only players to have completed the career slam and won an Olympic gold in doubles. What do you think when you hear I that? I forget list? to say that too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, what do you What do you think when you hear your name amongst that list? <laughs> I don't know. Um, those those yeah, the names you just said they are pretty big names in the in the world of tennis, in the world of doubles, and to be out there with those few names, it's yeah. I mean. I, honestly, I don't think I'm aware still, you know, it um, happened to me also, to be honest, when I won Olympics, I, I was just, I won it and it was good, I was happy and, and all that stuff, but I was not aware till till I till I got that feeling, you know, from, from other people, from example of you saying this now, you know, and then it just 
sticks in my mind, you know, that are out there with those five guys, which is, I mean, it's amazing, you know. So I think I'm going to need some time for all of that, you know, just to to get to my mind what I what I really achieved today, you know, with this. Knowing how much was on the line, how were the nerves? Was this one of your most nerve-wracking slam finals? Definitely, yes, yes. I would I would compare this to my uh, to my first Wimbledon uh, final when I played with actually my coach today, Oliver Marach, and that was of course the first final Wimbledon. It was it was special, but yeah, this one just because of the whole thing. Of course, I had it in the back of my mind, and I lost here twice in the final, so I was pretty close. Even before, and of course, you 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 have it you have it there in your mind. You you want to win. Uh, we were serving. He was serving for the for the match, and then those few crazy points happened, you know. And I was like, just yeah. I mean, a lot of emotions going through, and it was it was stressful, and it was not easy not easy to play at, at least for me personally. Yeah. And one for Marcello, the heart in the clay was that a, a nod to Gustavo Kerten there? I just felt a lot of love in that moment. Okay. You know? <laughs> yeah. But it was maybe a little bit, uh, when I was growing up, Guga Kurten was one of my uh, favorite players. And I remember watching him when I was a kid uh, behind the TV and remember watching him winning three titles here. So remember his celebration. So I, I got inspired. <laughs> Hi, congratulations, both of you. Um, you're, unlike sort of um, Vava and Bolelli, you're, you're, who, you know, very well might look ahead to the Olympics as another chance to play together. Um, I think there's a possibility that one or both of you could, could play in the Olympics with, with someone else from your, are you, are you sort of considering anything um, about being back here in a couple of months for the for the Olympic doubles, not, not together obviously, but playing with someone else. Well, in my case, I think uh, uh, there is the rule that if you are top ten, you can choose um, basically anyone to play with you. Uh, and I think I'm going to end end up top ten. I think this is this this was the last week to to get the ranking. I think in the live ranking. Okay, so basically, I I could choose anyone to play uh, from my country, but I think there is another rule that it came in the past few years that uh, that person that you choose it has to be or player that you choose has to be top 300. And uh, unfortunately, we don't have anyone top 300 uh, from El Salvador, so uh, in my case, it's it's not going to be possible to participate in the Olympic Games. You wanna... uh, I'm, I'm coming back, yes. I'm um, <laughs> defending the title, so yeah, I, I guess I'm, uh, uh, for now, I think we're playing me and Mektic, so yeah, um, I'm going to be here in a few months trying to defend the title.